Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to talk about regular expression to validate the email address. So you know, uh, when we work on a real-time uh, environment, that time we get a requirement like we want to validate a specific pattern in a string. So I'm going to give you a demonstration with the email address. So how to validate the proper email uh, with the help of the regular expression in SQL Server. That demonstration we are going to talk. So for demonstration, what I'm going to do. I'm going to declare one variable called as at the rate i and the value which I'm passing is my email address that is srikanthode at the rate gmail.com this is my official email address for the channel okay now here I'm going to write one regular expression to validate the result if the result is true then I would get the result as a select true And if the if the if the validation got failed, I would get result as a false, right? This is my requirement. Now I'm going to write a regular expression to validate the email. Let's let me do that. So my requirement is that the value of the i if like a uh, some specific pattern. So my requirement, my pattern basically I'm creating the starting character should be from a to z or uh, small to or it should be capital A to Z but in SQL Server everything is case sensitive so don't need to worry but this is just for uh, regular expression so the first character always should start with A to Z then then there should be any character then I must use uh, at the rate symbol which is mandatory for me then then after that there should be any character right so I would say A to Z or A to Z capital or small then all pattern then the mandatory thing is dot so placing in a square bracket then again same thing a to z a to z see how simple it is or you can simply do one thing you can place three characters here. one two three because we know uh, there should be only three or two basically right so we'll say simply at the rate i start so this is my pattern i just return and this is the regular expression which i created now let's execute it and let's see what will we get just make it false okay my requirement is that if my regular expression is true i would get result as a true if my regular expression is wrong i would get result as a now see I got result as a true it means that this is the regular expression which I created in front of you uh, just now it is correct for example I am doing a uh, changes like instead of a I am specifying number okay now I am trying to validate it now let's see what will we get we will get a false it means that it's working okay um, again what I am going to do I am just placing dollar symbol here and trying to validate here let's see what will we get we will get a false right okay we got a false it means it's validating again i'm removing the dot and i'm placing the at the rate symbol instead of dot now let's see what will we get we got a false right again uh, again i'm doing some interesting thing. like they say i'm placing here dot and here i'm placing at the rate symbol now let's see and i'm trying to make correct string now this is this probably this pattern is now correct but instead of dollar I change to dot and I instead of dot I change to dollar now let's see what we get we will get a false right yeah we got a false so our uh, our regular expression is right and I have shown you how to write the regular expression in SQL Server to validate a specific pattern hope this helped you and uh, it will be helpful for you guys to validate any kind of pattern you can write anything so square bracket means any character so the first character, the square bracket means of only one character. The first character should always start with A to Z. Then there should be a, some kind of pattern. Then there should be a at the rate symbol, right? Ah, so if I write here 999, for example, will this give me true or false? It will give me true. Why? It will give me true. See, we need to correct pattern first. You know, we change it to now if I execute to this one I will get result as a true okay so this is something like a regular expression hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration with the regular expression uh, 
if you want to learn regular expression you can learn it online uh, and use that regular expression in your query in your format so you can use it now i use this regular expression uh, in a in a in a basically uh, variable you can use with the table right so instead of output just using the column there you simply need to use like this this pattern you need to say like that he select i you need to validate the condition actually if i say like this i'm going to show you how to use it in a uh, select so if it is true then you say yes it's valid as zero and just copy this variable see how simple it is i'm just writing here true or false see we converted if else to the select part so it depend on uh, your logic how do you want to use it how do you want to write it right so i got a true same script all also giving me true but this is very simple likewise now this is a variable you can use it like the normal table simply say prop if you are saying table name right so just use the table name and the just pass the column name here everything will be taken care by the code okay hope you guys enjoyed our video if you guys really like our video please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend and if you really like our video please don't forget to comment over the comment section and thanks for watching